Good morning, Cancer. This reading is for you for December 1st through the 15th. And I'm sorry, my readings are running late. Life. <laughs> Life happens. And I apologize. So let's get into it. Cancer, when I was meditating on your energy, I was seeing the magician. So I think that you are really creating things right now. But I feel like you're kind of bored in your situation. I feel like you really want some change. Let's get some cards for Cancer. Let's start with some Oracle cards. And then we'll get into the tarot. Now, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Okay, let's get a card from Cancer. Spirit. Oh, three want to jump out. Okay, let's see what we've got. <clears throat> Just a moment. Okay, we've got tender embrace. Number 22, 2-2. Two, two. So you're on the right path. You have birds of the feather. So I think that you are Things are coming in for you, Cancer. I think love is coming in. I think that you're also going to have time with friends. There, I feel like there's also friends that may be pulling you to do I want to say some impulsive things. And you have it is what it is. Okay, Cancer, let's see what this energy is. We're going to get some Moonology next. Let's see what Moonology has to say about the situation. Can I have a message for Cancer for December 1st to the 15th? Message for Cancer, please. Thank you. Okay, we have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. Okay, so Cancer, you're showing up. And I feel like you have safety and protection. Um, let's get one more color. And we have, you're very close to achieving your goal, the Gibbous Moon. Okay, so what are you working on, Cancer? And you also have, have faith in your dreams, the Waxing Crescent Moon. Very interesting. Okay, let's get some angel cards. Let's see what the angels... Message for Cancer, please. December 1st, May 15th. Don't mind the background noise. Okay. Message for Cancer. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear mystique you also have serena i am the angel of abundance you will receive the money that you need and god is in charge of how it will happen have faith so whatever you're needing at the moment cancer is going to be provided to you uh, by your angels <clears throat> The universe has your back. 
And right now, Cancer, the moon is just going into your ninth house. So that house rules over your spirituality, your good karma. So I feel like a lot of things will be coming up at this time. Okay, messages for Cancer, please. What's going on for Cancer? What's going on for Cancer? December 1st through the 15th. Ooh. Okay, we have a Nine of Cups. And we have the Four of Swords. And the Seven of Wands. Interesting. Okay. Let's pull some more. December 1st through the 15th, messages for Cancer. Okay, you have the Six of Cups in reverse. You have the Ten of Cups. Wow. Great energy. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the Hangman. You have the Nine of Wands. And you have the High Priestess. At the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Pentacles. So I, I feel like even though this is an Earth sign Cancer, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you are running after what it is your goals are. And I feel like you are really pursuing what it is that's going to make you happy. Now, in the first row, we have the Nine of Cups and the Four of Swords. So I feel like you're currently you're currently manifesting something. I think that you're doing a lot of meditating at the moment, Cancer. I feel like you really believe in this thing that you're manifesting. And I really feel like you're doing the work. Um, I feel like you're doing the shadow work. You are processing things accurately. I, I really feel like you are really believing in the universe to provide you what it is that you want and what you're manifesting. Now, you also have the Seven of Wands. So yeah, I really, I really believe you're standing on your beliefs. You are backing whatever your ideas are. You're backing those up with facts, with um, the answers that maybe the universe is providing to you, um, or your higher source, spirit, um, because. The moon is in your ninth house. I believe that your spirituality is really at a high right now. Um, I feel like good karma is really making a point to show up with all that you've done in the past. Now you're currently being rewarded. Okay, now in the second row, you have the Six of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. So I feel like the, with this Six of Cups energy, I feel like you are you're releasing things from the past. You're releasing them. You, you know that they are not for your greater good. So you're releasing these things that maybe were harmful for you. Maybe your bad 
experiences of the past or so forth. But I'm, I'm feeling like you're releasing. You're releasing those things. And that's leading to your Ten of Cups moment. So I feel like you're really embracing your happiness right now. You're at your most excited. And you have, look at this, you have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups to the High Priestess. So I feel like you are you are really manifesting something. Something is really coming through for you. It's just a matter of time. And I really feel like the 1st through the 15th, you're going to see a lot of... A lot of achievement with your goals, with what you're manifesting. <clears throat> I feel like you... You are really trusting yourself. You're trusting your intuition. You're making those moves. Now, you also have the Knight of Swords. So, I feel like with this Knight of Swords energy, it's going to come in with a haste. And I feel like you may not want to jump on the first thing. But I do feel like this is a, this is going to be a beautiful change with this Knight of Swords. I feel like everything is coming into view for you. Now, in the last row, you have the Hangman, the Nine of Wands, and the High Priestess. So, as I said, I really feel like you're following your intuition. You're trusting yourself. You are understanding Everything that you need to do in order to accomplish what you want to accomplish. And I believe the your spirit, your spirit guides, the universe, whatever it is you believe on is letting you know, don't give up. You are so close to the finish line. Don't give up just yet. With this hangman here. I feel like everything that you sacrificed, um, no, I feel like it's going to make, it's going to be a great sacrifice. There may be something that you have to let go in order to receive this Ten of Cups here. Let's get a little bit of clarity. Let's find out what this is. <clears throat> Spirit, can I have a message? To clarify for cancer, let's clarify the Nine of Cups, please. Clarify the Nine of Cups. The Five of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like you've gone through a lot of challenges to come to this point. I feel like you have jumped a lot of hurdles. You maybe went through a lot of drama. Um, and it's finally leading to something much better. It says Four of Swords. You have the Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, with this Four of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, I really feel like you are really taking the time to rest and meditate on your situation. I really feel like you are recovering um, from your priorities. I think that the priorities that you have set have brought you to this point. But I think that you're still juggling. I think that you are still trying to find your way as far as your priorities go. What is the Seven of Wands? The Three of Pentacles. So yeah, with the Seven of Wands... And the Three of Pentacles. Now, I feel like there's people behind you. And that may have to do with this birds of a feather. I think that you're, you're being surrounded by your friends at the moment. And they may be giving you ideas. But they may also try to pull you away from your idea. 
So be careful for that. Be careful for someone trying to let you know that it's not possible. Okay, what is this Six of Cups in Reverse? Let's get a card for the Six of Cups in Reverse. The Devil. Yeah. And like I said, I feel like you're letting go of things from the past. And I believe that those things from the past were really holding you away from your abundance. They were holding you away from your Ten of Cups moment. So I feel like you finally understand that releasing that negative energy, releasing all the toxicity is actually opening you up to a whole new world, a whole new perspective that I believe will be life changing. What's this Ten of Cups? Give me a message for this Ten of Cups, please. Give me a message for this Ten of Cups. Okay. Now, at first, the Three of Swords in reverse came out. So I feel like you're releasing your fears. And now you have the Hermit in reverse. So I, I definitely don't feel like you're at the point where you know everything that you need to know. I feel like you still need to go within to find more answers. But you do have that Ten of Cups that's there. So I, I feel like the answers are going to come with more meditation, with more introspective. I believe it's going to come. What is this Knight of Swords? You have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you are, you're trying to master something. Maybe you're busy studying. Maybe you're still in school. But I feel like you are really trying to master something. Um, but I see that you're working hard. I see that you're working hard, and I feel like you're working hard to try to get out of your boredom for some reason. Now, with this hangman, you have the Knight of Wands. Now, this Knight of Wands energy is very fast-moving energy. <clears throat> this is full of creativity, full of um, fire, and... This also may be someone coming in with some kind of communication. This may be also you making your moves for whatever this is that, that you're doing. What is this Nine of Wands? The Ten of Cups again. Now look, you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups right next to each other. You definitely have happiness. This is full of abundance here. And I feel like it's going to come in quickly. I feel like you're taking action on this. What is this high priestess? The seven of cups. Yeah, so I feel like you are, you're trusting your intuition, but I feel like you've got so many options. Maybe you're, kind of overthinking certain things. Don't try to overthink your situation. It may that you're having a problem committing to a certain project. Hmm. Very interesting. See, we have some other cards that wanted to come out. Yeah, just what I thought. Okay, we have the Four of Cups, the Chariot, and the Sun. Okay. At the bottom, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Cancer. So, I'm, I'm seeing you, like I said, I was seeing you being bored in your situation. I feel like 
you're trying to come out of that boredom. You're trying to find something that's more exciting. I feel like you're going to move into the energy of more excitement, more happiness, more abundance. And I feel like you're really flowing with your ideas at the moment. I really feel like they're coming to you like fast, fast energy with this Knight of Wands. Um, but it's, it, it's very abundant energy. You have the Ten of Cups twice. You have the Sun. You have the Nine of Cups. You have all of the wish cards. So I feel like anything that you want right now, Cancer, is totally possible. Anything that you're trying to manifest is totally possible at this time. Okay, let's end with a message from the universe. Let's see what the universe has to say. What messages do we have for Cancer? December 1st through the 15th. Message for Cancer. To end this reading. Okay. I am the dreamer of my dream. Yeah, I think that you are really dreaming up this manifestation that you're pulling down to earth. I feel like it was something that was only in your dreams. But as Mystique was saying, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear and you're very close to achieving your goal. You have this right at your fingertips, I feel, Cancer. I feel like it's so close. The presence of love will always cast out fear. Yeah, so like I said, I feel like someone's coming close to you too with that, um, let's see. With that tender embrace card. Yeah, that there may be someone that's very unexpected coming in as well. One more. When I lean towards love, I am led. Yeah, so it's definitely love coming in as well. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. Yeah, so I think the, the universe is really working for you. It's really building you up. And I think this is going to be a really exciting time for you, Cancer. In the comment section below, if you made it this far, please type claim it and um, make sure to Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. And please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. That's what I can say for you. Have a wonderful December, Cancer. Love and light.